I mean, I was like as awkward as they came. Uh, no money, no nothing, and I just basically just obsessed over YouTube every day. Loved being a YouTuber because, like, back then I was not passionate about hardly like anything. It was just like I enjoyed it, and it was just what I wanted more than anything. Like everyone's telling me, like, you're stupid. You know, you're very awkward. Like, you know, why, how, why would you make it? There's millions of people trying, and I just remember being like, I don't know. I just like it. I'm I'm gonna do this, or I'm gonna die trying, kind of thing. Mr. Beast has taken over the world, and I wanted to know how. He is one of the most recognizable people on YouTube. And if we're being honest with ourselves, the internet as a whole. He has toys, restaurants, chocolate bars, etc. If you can name it, Mr. Beast has probably had his brand on it in some way. And while this is all impressive on its own, it didn't hit me how popular he had become until the night of the Super Bowl, when I saw it firsthand. Mr. Beast's success has all culminated into something mind-shattering. This commercial on Super Bowl Sunday. Whopper, 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 whopper. Oops, let me try that again. This commercial on Super Bowl Sunday. I missed it! A simple couple second cameo in an otherwise random commercial, but on one of the most viewed sporting events on TV, at least in the US. And in terms of online celebrity, this is a big deal because it's not often when internet creators get this kind of opportunity. But after watching this, it got me thinking a lot. And after a drink and some thoughts, I came up with three questions. Why, how, and what? Why does the NFL and other big companies want him so bad? How does he make all this happen and what's his secret? Well, after digging through some interviews and some of his older videos, I think I might have found what I was looking for. But first, why do these companies want him so bad? Luckily, numbers can tell us this quickly. I mean, look at these. So as of right now, Mr. Beast has 134 million subscribers here on YouTube. As a reference, the state of California has a population of roughly 39 million. Or, with some quick facts, that adds up to around three Californias worth of subs, or five Texases, or 16 New Yorks. Yeah, that's insane on its own, and the man gets roughly around 1.4 million new subscribers a week. And what's even crazier than that is right now on his channel, he has over 90 videos with over 100 million views. This to go along with 22 billion total channel views, it's no wonder why these companies want the services of this man so much. His influence. He's their golden ticket to a different kind of audience that they might have not reached before. And also, it makes perfect sense. Influencer marketing is one of the best ways of marketing a product nowadays. Companies pay millions to get an influencer who does the quarter of the numbers that Mr. Beast does. And when it comes to influencers in general, Mr. Beast is the largest of them. It's gotten to the point where almost any time he releases a video, it's almost guaranteed to go viral. And honestly, I wouldn't blame you if you thought it was just magic or algorithm manipulation. There's no way he can possibly plan out something like that, right? Well, upon a further look, when boiled down to its basic components, it's just a lot of great planning and lots and lots of research. So now, how does he do all this? Well, Mr. Beast has said on multiple podcasts that everything changed when he started to take YouTube more seriously and started to obsess over how to go viral. In turn, this has manifested in him looking at every little thing on what makes a video perfect for virality and having a kind of formula to making the most viral video imaginable. And, oh, you know, we do things like just take a thousand thumbnails and see if like there's a correlation to the brightness of the thumbnail to how many views it got or like you know like videos that get over 10 million views is like how often do they cut the camera angles or like things like that hell with the help of some of his friends he took hundreds of random videos and just looked at them to see what made them successful basically what i did was i f somehow found these other like four lunatics we were three of us were college dropouts one was a high school dropout and one i don't know he just like quit his job we were all super small youtubers and we basically talked every day for a thousand days in a row and did nothing but just like hyper study like what makes a good video what makes a good thumbnail what what's good pacing like how to go viral so it's not really rocket science and how mr beast was able to do all of this but it's pretty damn close i mean the guy literally admitted to no life in youtube i would wake up work on videos and then i'd go to bed he sacrificed all of his free time relationships with just about everyone and his whole future to perfect this and it definitely paid off and while all of this is fine and dandy, it's time to answer the what. What's the secret? Before I came to my conclusion, I had to take a look to get a more clear picture. So I did. And in my research, I found one thing that remained very apparent. When you look at interviews, podcasts, and some of his old videos, just hear how he talks about YouTube stuff. It all excites him. He even admitted that in his personal life, all he talks about is YouTube, to the point of where he couldn't have normal conversations with people anymore. And this wasn't some new thing either. It's been there the whole time behind the scenes. It was just extremely subtle. And while it wasn't obvious at first, it became immediately clear after rewatching some of his earliest viral videos. And upon finally catching it myself, it made everything else so much more clear. I finally found what I was looking for. It was his obsession with content creation, 
with YouTube in general. His obsession is the secret. The absolute obsession with wanting to be the best he can be. He had absolutely no limits to himself or the content he made. Whatever he thought would work, he tried. And regardless of if he had the right equipment, he still made videos. Even when people said he was wasting his time by making videos, he still did anyway. He was so obsessed with wanting success that eventually when it all clicked, he made it happen. His obsession turned into success. That's honestly the storybook ending that everyone wants when they try YouTube for the first time. So to wrap this video up, after looking at Mr. Beast's work, I found his plan for world domination. It was calculated, like an assassin. He spotted his target and never looked back. In fact, it was all by design, from planning to hours spent working on videos to breaking down every little thing, he mastered it. And his obsession with wanting to be the best even when everything and everyone told him to stop is what ultimately gave him the ability to take over the world and spread a little positivity while doing it. We will probably never get another creator like Mr. Beast again. The subscriber number is something that is most likely never going to be done again by a single creator, but to me, the type of person he is is genuinely rare as well. He's rich beyond his wildest dreams. He could literally have anything he wants, but yet he still finds a way to be nice and share his wealth when he doesn't need to. When it comes to successful rich people, Mr. Beast has to be the best of them. He's not selfish with his knowledge either. In fact, he's very inspiring and super insightful. His experience and words carry lots of weight, and I'm honestly glad he's gotten as big as he did, because he's given some legitimacy to a world that many find unserious. And just as long as he doesn't plan on making any Voltron-type robots anytime soon, I think the world will be better off with Mr. Beast as its new ruler. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have an incredible day. Peace out.